Leave now. Okay, so we're not gonna get in that spiel of um <laughs> all of the all the introduction shit. You guys check out part one. I was recording and this is the first time well this is the second time that it actually happened to y'all because I'd actually recorded y'all mid month mate to be very honest with y'all. Y'all was before Sagittarius and Gemini. I actually have a whole nother part of y'all on my damn and I told y'all and I kept telling y'all as soon as I got to the part where I was like Libra, some of y'all are dealing with the devil. All right, some of y'all are dealing with somebody who is blocking your flow, okay, or blocking blocking your path, okay, or preventing um, you moving forward on on your divine destined path. And again, when I got to talking about when I got to talking about solitude, okay, from some motherfucker who like cake because of light being shed on the situation, possibly, okay. Uh, the light that could be shed on a situation. Some of y'all could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo, who ultimately have been trying to manifest, um, manifest the beginning, but this, their focus is, is on the financial part and just being able to do what the hell they want to do. Okay? And you, you're seeing what has been manifested. And for some of you all, you're having to come to terms that this is not what the hell I want. For some of y'all, if you have a, um, a, a, if you are a Libra man, could be the Libra woman, but I feel like this is someone who has um, a mother, a father, a, a, a child's mother, a child's father that is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you guys could find yourself caught off guard fixing that relationship as well because this person has been manifesting you. Some of y'all could have broken off and just focused on your damn money and focused on building your finances because some of y'all, this person got a damn drinking problem. And some of y'all, even though this person has been manifesting you because there is this, you guys have, this this person is meant to teach you something, okay? Um, but I definitely find this person has been manifesting you, but they've been manifesting you for you to get there and they ain't got shit for you but some more drinking problems. So you really need to, um, and some of you guys are going to, this whole manifestation for some of you all has to do with closure, where a, where a situation wasn't able to be closed, okay? Um, some of you guys are getting that, like a redo, rectification, rectifying, bringing order and balance to a situation in order for there to be a, like a solidifying of some type of healthy family structure where you guys can codependent, not necessarily friends, but real cordial like, okay, with love, unconditionally, not looking at that past uh, from a place of judgment, but only looking from a place of, look at it from a place of love and how it assisted you in growing within your path, okay, someone rising Libra, y'all have to remember all that shit, this is part two, y'all gonna be the only side epic, y'all gonna, oh my god, oh my god, when I die, I'm a legend, okay, only motherfuckers with a part one, part two, Type shit. I'm arriving again to tell us the frog watches for the sign of Libra for mid month May. Yeah, for some of you all, you've been manifesting equal give and take, okay? So for some of you all, you could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For some of you all, this definitely has to do um, with if you are a single mother, okay, and you've been feeling as if you had to provide by yourself, you've been manifesting that help. For some of you all, this is a new partnership. But for some of you all, it's solidifying or balancing things out within your current partnership where someone wakes up and say, hey, I could give, I could give more. This is pretty fucked up, okay, for some of y'all. For others of you, for others of you, you've been manifesting the truth. And I feel like it's the intention that one has been putting in stalking but not talking, okay? I definitely feel like the fact that I don't have no swords out here just yet, I definitely feel like it's a whole lot of watching. A whole lot of emotion. Ain't nobody saying shit though. Someone feels as if there is not an equal level of give and take in their current relationship. And I definitely feel like they want to. Truth is, you want to keep your options open because you know that what it is that you've been manifesting. Now you're seeing that you deserve more. You want more. You expect more. And spirit is saying you can have it. It's here. Some of y'all can have to make a decision. I see earth and water here. Capricorn, Toy, Virgo, and uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, well, let's just see how much coming out of this. As one of the cross watches for the sign of Libra from mid month May 2019 in love. Yeah, but some of you all, some of y'all, uh, this could also be a work situation, okay? 
for some of you all, you're really, really working hard on trying to grow something. I definitely feel like this has to do with, I'm here in entrepreneurship, so some of y'all could actually be trying to start a business. You could be focusing on the legalities, what uh, what licenses that you're going to need, what permits you're going to need, what DBAs that you're going to have to uh, register for. So I feel like some of you guys, and for some of you all, I'm here in love, so some of you guys, um, someone wants to come back and fix a relationship with you all. And this could definitely be someone who you have children with, okay? Um... Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, someone wants to come back and heal the situation. All right? For some of you, this is solidifying a partnership. Some type of either business partnership. Like, I'm hearing official. So some of you guys could be making things official, especially if you're going into collaboration um, as far as business, business ventures with another person. Okay? For some of you all... Some of y'all, this reconciliation, some of y'all, it's fated for you to reconcile with someone because it's destined for you to have some type of spiritual practice together. I feel like some of y'all could all, yeah. And hey, for some of y'all, this person could be a Scorpio. But for some of you all, there is a tower moment, okay? Either you or the person that you're dealing with has someone that's coming in. And I definitely feel like someone wants to heal a family situation. And I feel like it's coming in extremely fast and unexpected for some of you all. For some of you all, this could be a fire sign. Every Leo Sagittarius, I feel like this person is coming in very, very, very expressive. They want to offer you something solid, okay? If this person was about play play in the past, they were inconsistent, they were un, uh, unreliable. This person is wanting to come back and offer you something solid. For some of you all, after actually having a having coming to a mutual agreement to heal the situation, to leave that dumb shit outside the door, and only come to the table with understanding compromise, love, communication, as well as compassion for one another, you know, I definitely, it's the energy of compassion, like, I feel like one person is healing, and really, really, really working on themselves internally, they're doing the internal work, and someone else is just focused on their fixed weight of the external, and what they can, so I feel like someone's focused on the future that they're moving What's beautiful, and for some of y'all, what's breaking, what's cracking, I'm hearing cracking. So I, this this could even be, okay, heart shock. So some of you guys, there's a cracking happen within, with a cracking happening within your heart chakra. Some of you guys are going through some type of purification or healing with the heart chakra. This divine union is about a divine partnership that is going to expand your heart chakra because for some of you all, this has to do with your purpose and your passion. The reason why you're stagnant is because you're holding residual energy that has just been sitting there dormant. And so there is someone coming in that could, who could have actually triggered this. Maybe you thought that you was over it. The spirit is saying, no, no, no. In order for you to get to this stop, get to this solidity, because I got the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles. So some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the earth side. I'm seeing some of y'all. Some of you guys, there could be some type of tower moment. Like someone is just, someone could be moving forward very fast. If this is not moving forward toward the fire sign or the fire sign moving forward towards you, someone could be moving away very fast to work on themselves and focus on their finances. And for some of you all, this is a mutual under a mutual decision. Uh, you guys are coming to a mutual understanding that hey, you know this this is running its course. I got to work on me. Okay. For some of yeah, some of y'all been manifesting solitude just with being sick and tired of being motherfucking sick and tired. For some of you all, this has to do with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. I definitely feel like. The relationship is going to be moving for moving forward, okay, after some type of conversation is had and work is willing to be done mutually. There's this harmonious energy that is bringing balance to a situation, and it's going to allow things to move quickly, okay? But someone really has to make a decision on where they want to be. What really matters? Do they even really want to go back to the past? Do I want to go to the past to fix it? Do I see something there that is worth having? worth working on because my, because of my traditional beliefs and how I feel that you know family structure should look like I mean and, and for but you know we all have our own different views on things but I definitely feel like you guys are taking a leap of faith towards something solid for some of y'all this is about moving away from someone yeah moving forward due to some type of third party situation or just moving away from situations where there is no respect in the union anymore, like I, I deserve more. I'm fuck that. 
I'm willing to I'm willing to believe in God and count on the most high <laughs> before I count on you to disappoint me again. Period. Okay? So some of you all could be dealing with the sign of a uh, Capricorn Taurus Virgo. I have um Aries here, okay? For some of you all, if you're dealing with an air sign, some of y'all could be moving away from Gemini Libra Aquarius, so you have a family with strong Gemini energy. Some of you are, and some of y'all just could have to do with Gemini season going in the month of June. Some of y'all are planning to move, and I feel like you're not telling nobody. You see, I heard said all I can say. For some of you all, there's going to be a transformation, uh, a transformation in a relationship, okay? Possibly with the mother or father of your child. Some of y'all are dealing with a Pisces. Another Libra or Taurus, okay? Someone actually wants to build and grow. I'm also hearing miracles. So some of you guys thought that you had, um, that you could not reproduce or you couldn't have children. For some of you all, you're going to find out that Spirit is blessing you with a miracle child, okay? For some of you all, someone is moving forward, okay? Taking a leap of faith and going to going to focus on what it is that they're building. I'm hearing legacy. So for some of y'all, the fact that I have the king and queen of pentacles here, some of y'all are focusing on your legacy. And for some of y'all, this could be that you decide not to move forward away from someone because you find out that this person is pregnant again or you're pregnant again. For some of you all, you thought that you couldn't get pregnant by your partner and you find out, ta -ta. so I can. Congratulations. Mocha love the kids. I know y'all going to be like, no, Mocha, no. Yes. But yes, yes, and for some of you all, this ha this has to do with a business endeavor, uh, a healthy collaboration, a healthy partnership, as well as someone is aligning with you all to assist you. Th there are two energies here that manifest extremely well, okay? And for some of you all, this is moving away from a situation that is stagnant where you don't see your manifestations coming forth and is living in your truth where you see things can actually be built. You see solid foundations to be had. You see where there can be legacies. You, you can't. You see where there can be legacies left because you can actually see your growth. It's harvest time, and some of y'all gonna have to make some sacrificial gains in order to receive it. All right. All right. So that's what I have for my Librans. Okay. I love you all very much. I send you all peace, blessings, and Namaste, which I'll part two having as. Love y'all. Bye y'all.